Leg 33, day one, which is actually the same day as leg 32, day five. Uh, because uh, we finished the air leg and we're now starting Hamilton. We, note I say, yes. I have company. I'm joined today by Keith Osborne, who works for the Met, running their counselling. He is chair of the Institute, Institute of Welfare, of welfare. Uh, and in that context has come across racing welfare a fair bit in his day-to-day -day life. Keith is a Queen's Park Rangers fan, but we're not going to hold that against him for too long. Uh, keen former footballer, he has admitted to me that when I was discussing William's injury, uh, that it might have been the type of injury that he might have caused through his style of play, which I think he would describe as, well, I think he described it to be precise as hard but fair. To which I think I said, but did it occasionally look as if it might have been harsh but unfair? And he said, maybe. Anyway, true. so I'm going to try very hard not to upset Keith over the next 40 miles because I need my legs to work. So for the time being, it's walk on and be nice to him. Uh, leg 33, day two. Um, uh, where are we? We're between Ayr and Hamilton. We're about six, six and three quarter miles in. Uh, weather hasn't quite delivered what we were expecting today. The forecast was for a nice sunny day, but it's sort of a bit overcast, and, but crucially, it's dry. So beyond that, I don't really care. Um, uh, we're gonna try and do about 22-ish miles today, I think, uh, which will get us to within sort of six of Hamilton. Uh, the weather forecast for tomorrow is um, rain spreading in later in the afternoon, but I think once again, I'm gonna get away with it unbelievably. Um, hopefully when it does arrive it'll absolutely pour with rain and clear by Monday from when I start the leg from Hamilton to Perth uh, because we don't like rain um, uh, anyway uh, we are going to uh, press on hopefully get done sort of uh, sort of half past four or five o'clock uh, the horse funny enough that I have a share in that one when I was doing the leg from Cheltenham to Worcester uh, is running this afternoon at Newbury so we'll be listening out for that um, uh, but in the meantime, and here does indeed come a horse. Um, not looking quite as fit as Exoplanet Blue, at least I very much hope not. Uh, anyway, for the time being, we're just going to have a quick, a quick petrol stop. Um, but beyond that, walk on. Leg 33, day three, air to Hamilton. Uh, a bit of a hop, skip and a jump this morning for us. I think it's about six and a half miles into... Hamilton from where we finished last night with pretty tired feet and <laughs> Keith with uh, aching knees. <laughs> uh, but a good soak in the bath. Ready to go. A lot of fuel into the engine. Good night's sleep. Ready for the uh, conclusion. Uh, eight race car awaits us at Hamilton. Uh, Weather-wise, I think we're going to be all right. There's quite a lot of rain coming later this afternoon, which is just extraordinary in terms of timing <laughs> when you think that I've been walking... Well, by the time I get to Hamilton, I'll have walked about 145 miles in, since uh, Monday morning uh, without a drop of rain to speak of. I'm going to start again tomorrow to kick off leg 34, a 70-mile run up to Perth. But I've been just so ridiculously lucky, it defies belief. Uh, anyway, long may it continue. Uh, for the time being, as we crest a hill, I think we can see Hamilton over the top. Uh, walk on. Leg 33. Air to Hamilton. Just over 40 miles, including the course walk. Uh, Keith has been with me the whole way. Boy done good. Got three jocks out uh, for the walk. Uh, Tom, uh, Royston uh, and Phil. And I can now declare, leg 33, finished. <laughs>